when I drop this apple, do you know what will happen next? Well, classical mechanics tells us it will fall towards the earth due to gravity. But what if instead of an apple, we have a subatomic particle? Will that even make a difference? You see, subatomic particles are weird because they don't follow classical mechanics. But, 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 they do behave to Schrodinger's equations. But how does that work? Ow. One, you see, in quantum physics, to predict the movement of a particle, like an electron, it doesn't follow the rules of particles, it follows the rules of waves. So, in the Schrodinger equation, we use the wave function to represent all we know about a particle. Put simply, it gives us the probability of finding a particle at a particular point in space at a particular point in time. Two, all these other symbols are constraints and basically tell us how the wave function can behave, as well as three, total energy stays the same, assuming there are no external influences on the system. This total energy is made of the kinetic energy and potential energy of the particle. Therefore, if you know how one side is going to look, then you can figure out how the other side is going to look. So, if we want to see what a quantum object will do in the future, we need the Schrodinger equation. In it, the wave function is changing with time in a very specific way, depending on these constraints and the total energy of the quantum system. And boom, you're like a genius now. 